Yalgren. Yup, get comfy. <laughs> get nice and comfy. Do you, oh, fuck you, of course. <laughs> I do. I wouldn't know. Why would you not warn me that you had questions? Warning, like, I have questions. <laughs> it's a podcast. No, why would you not like give me the questions so I can be Because like, it's boring. Answer. Why would I want you to think? That's just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> why you to think on the spot? God damn it. <laughs> You're going to be waiting like 15 minutes for some of these answers. Hey, come on. Speed run. They're not hard. Well, yeah. Which one's hard, Jada? We'll find out in a second. What? Hello everyone, welcome to the podcast and I'm here with... So, I'm Edward. He yep. is. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds so excited to be here. Oh yeah. Can touch type, she oh. gay. Always. If you don't know who this is, he's been mentioned in a previous podcast before. What do you mean? <laughs> this is... You want... You were mentioned in the podcast. You guys talk about me? I didn't. Oh. Mentioned in the podcast I did with Alyssa where she talks about her perfect person. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, my ass. Yeah, or you may have heard me mention if I ever mention a brother. This is him. Hello. Yeah, so we're going to be doing some of the deep conversation starters. Uh, so you just answer them however you want. That's, that's I, it. I, I, no, <laughs> let's do it. All right. So first question, what's something you like about yourself that you wish more people recognized? <laughs> that more people recognize? Yeah. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> if you hadn't ha- if you hadn't added what that people recognize, it'd be like ability to talk to fucking anyone, but everybody knows that. Well, you can say um, that as well. Yeah, but people notice that. Well, that you can talk to anyone. Mainly because I'll approach them and start talking to them. Yeah, but you come up as like borderline flirtatious when you do that, so it's a bit. Eh. Okay, true, but that's generally <laughs> half on purpose. Yeah, because it's because it works. Normally, it's hey, nice hair, thanks. <laughs> or I freak some random guy out when I do that. Yeah. The last guy I did that too freaked out. Very much did. It was quite funny. Uh, oh, you were there. Yeah, remember? Yeah, that guy was not pleased to see me. Well, how creepy would it be? Something, someone walking up to you and just be like, "Nice hair." I could have gone about that better. Yeah, you definitely could have. <laughs> By saying literally anything else. No, nah, like I reckon my wording was fine, but the way I approached them went pretty poorly. I feel like it's scary, but sure. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, things that people don't recognize. Yeah. Even if it's like, even if like one or two people recognize it, but you want more people to. I mean, anything, doesn't matter. Do you want me to say mine while you think about yours? Go for it. Okay, so for me, I know some people recognize this, but I think it's just kind of going on the sense of like my intelligence in some ways, because I feel like a lot of the times it's more of a mum friend, that's it. Mm. Want people to recognize that there's more than just that. Oh, okay. I know you probably, this sounds really weird. I know you probably do a bit more, but like other than that, I feel like I know you and like Dakota really do and that's about it. No, I get it. So I kind of wish people would recognize more of the, I don't know, guess more of like the mental side, if that makes sense. Okay. Versus like kind of, yep, yeah, cool. I am mum friend, that's it. Oh no, okay. Yeah, getting profiled is just that yeah. kind of friend. I totally get that. Yeah. I get profiled as the alcoholic. Well, you don't help. No, I don't. Yeah. I play into it quite a fucking bit now. I think that's also the problem, is we play into our quote-unquote profiles way too much. I mean, yeah, it's not even always a conscious thing. I mean, like, I had a buddy in high school, Abel, um, and everybody, he, like, he, he collects stuff. Yeah. Um, and someone made a note that he's got a, he's got a couple of things from Auschwitz, mm-hmm. right? And then it was like, oh, Abel's a Nazi. And then all through high school... Abel's a Nazi. Oh, like, that's that how he was known. And he played into it real a lot. Yeah. Like, he comes to school wearing fucking jackboots. Yeah, so um, it doesn't help. <laughs> no, like... But he was doing that for a bit. And mm-hmm. he knew, consciously, that he was playing into it. And all his, deep, his closer friends knew. Yeah. Um, and I only got clued into that, like, you know, six months ago. Oh, really? Yeah. That he wasn't actually, like... <laughs> Parts of the SS, like nah, like he was just playing into the the meme. Yeah. Um, but no, I get that. I wish people would kind of like not think, oh, Edward knows everything about alcohol. Um, 
I fucking don't. You ask me to make you a drink, I will make you an amazing drink. Mm. It's always a fluke. Yeah. I, I don't know a single cocktail recipe. Couldn't remember them. I can make you a martini out of fucking anything because it's three ingredients. Hey, that's three more ingredients than anything else. <laughs> I mean, like, shit, you give me water and ice and somehow it'll be alcoholic and taste amazing. Is that just vodka and ice? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I wish some of my friends would look past that when it comes to invite Edward to the fucking party because he's gonna get everyone drunk. Yeah, so they kind of see you more as a person rather than just mm. the alcoholic. Mm. It's like It'd the tagline nice. underneath everyone's names, if everyone had one. That'd be kind of interesting to see then. Yeah. Hmm. It'd be weird. It would be. Like, everyone has, like, a floating name. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a video game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Click into their stats. Oh, yes. The alcoholic. Da -da -da -da. Constitution a million. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's just going into, like, D&D &D realms yeah, now. Yeah, no shit. This is on purpose. Da -da -da. <laughs> okay. Who do you call when times get tough and it can depend on situations? What? I feel like you know the answer is you. It is you. <laughs> um, but that's why I said depends on situations. Because I don't feel like you call me for all situations. Well, that's because I don't have a lot of situations. Touche. I point. mean, like, the worst ones I've come to you. Um, actually, holy shit, do I just come to you? I don't know. I think I do. That's why I'm asking you. <laughs> do you go to anyone else? Not really. I'm so sorry. I mean, like... <laughs> The last time I called you mm. about something, yeah, four months ago, yeah, I didn't talk to anyone else about it that night. Really? Yes. And the only other people I told were either po people that noticed, mm -hmm. like you know, like Instagram tag changes yeah. or like Facebook relationship shit that's not publicly posted. Yeah, it's just there. Or um. Like, a couple of my mates were like, you seem pretty down, you all good. And I'm like, well, this that happened. happened. Um, or, like, I was cruising with some friends going to some, uh, what's it, St. Kilda, mm -hmm. the park, the pl playground, the massive one. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was like, so this happened. There's, like, five of us in the car. And they're like, oh, shit. <laughs> it's like, y'all good, are you? Exactly. <laughs> um, and that was really it. Mm. That's as far into it as I really went with most of them. Um, so yeah, literally, I basically just call you. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, I didn't know that. Yeah, I abused the fuck out of that brother role to be like, help. <laughs> hey, that's fine, anytime. <clears throat> I'm more than happy for that. Um, I don't know, I think for me, it depends on the situation. I mean, I do talk to you a lot. Seems like Aaron might be your... Aaron's my other one. Dakota? Yeah, Aaron and Dakota. Yeah. They're my three. I think... But it depends on the situation. Erin is more... I've allowed myself to talk to her more and more. Okay. Because we've been friends... For a while now. Since, since we were six or seven. Yeah. And I'm turning 21, so whatever that math is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do math. But, um, but I never really opened up very much to her at all. Until the past like couple of years. Are you seriously going to do the I'm, math? I might be getting a calculator up. What? Was it 21 minus what six? Was it 14? 15. Oh, 15. You're not far. Yeah. It's about 15 years. Her and I have been friends, roughly. I really... I probably could have done that my fucking <laughs> head. That's why I was like, fingers go. Yeah, no. But only recently have I started to kind of tell her things. Yeah. So I think that's been kind of an interesting process. And it depends on what the situation. A lot of it, fortunately, is to do with, like, uni group drama or just, like... Oh, yeah. You guys have so fucking much of that. Yeah. Just, like more like you know you need another opinion but it also isn't too much of an issue yeah kind of thing. no i get that it's kind of childish yeah. arguments. and then dakota is more of the like serious borderline like depending like either like personal issues or like if i'm being depressive i'll try and talk to her and yeah. then you're just everything else but yeah. can be other things depending i get you yeah so, boy troubles. <laughs> boy troubles. <laughs> that, <laughs> yes, the ones that very rarely happen. <laughs> <laughs> when you need a male opinion that one in a million times. Oh my god, the amount of times my friends are like, I need a male opinion. I'm like, I know one male. <laughs> <laughs> what I call him? I know a guy. <laughs> but let me just call him. <laughs> yeah, you actually literally. do do that. I have, yeah. Pretty often. 
Yeah. It's not been long since that happened. I think it's been like three weeks. It was last week, wasn't it? Was it last week? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, it was last week. <laughs> Remember? Because we got the like group advice and then I asked if... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. That was last Holy week. shit. Okay. <laughs> I, I wasn't counting that, but yeah. Oh. That hadn't occurred to me, but yeah. Well, yeah, because I said to them, like, ask his advice. Because we need a male opinion. I'm like, you're the only male. No. Wait, does it count the other night you two in the car? And then I called you? Does oh. that count? Not really, because I called you. No, you just called me because you were worried, which yeah. was nice. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, mm. <laughs> no, I remember, like, because I, for context, I like everyone else who's listening, but, yeah. um, yeah, anyway, I was basically, I was gonna say, mm, I don't know. Uh, who cares, I was basically pulling experiment on my friends to see who cared about me or not, and <laughs> straight up, because I, fortunately, I did that a couple of times here and there, but, um, <laughs> hey, I've done it a decent, it's a weird thing to admit, I, mm, I did it a lot in my past relationship, but that doesn't matter, oh, um, that's okay, because that one kind of went, <laughs> yeah, anyway, but, um, most people either ignored it or kind of brushed it off. And then you were the only one to actually message me privately. Be like, yo, what's going on? Where are you? Honestly, I was expecting the opposite of that. Well, because yeah. Because I was literally going to lead my message with, I bet you just got a lot of these. And you hadn't. I literally had not gone to message from anyone. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you straight away messaged me and I was sending a voice member and I just sent it and then you called me like, what's going on? Where are you? And I was like, oh, you can't. <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck I is I checked happening? your fucking snap maps real fast and I was like, I can't see where she's. Yeah, because I was like, I'm going to turn them off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just but, ghost mode for a second. Yeah, literally. Mm -hmm. I left it off all night. <laughs> I mean, hey, fair enough. Yeah. But, yeah. but that was a really weird night. Because mm. I was just like, cool, now stay in the phone for like two hours. I was going to say, bullshit. that was a couple of interesting <laughs> conversations that happened that night. Oh, I was <laughs> so emotionally tired. It was stupid. Like, I literally, I left Erin's house and I just skipped to the car and I did like a little <laughs> spin and I'm like, wee, goodbye. My and she's like, God, when you're just mm. dead inside, so you just give up. Yeah, literally. It, <laughs> yeah, when it just takes over. I had just, I was so just emotionally burnt out so i was like cool Fair stupid mode engaged <laughs> let's just act like a fucking lunatic but it was just it was interesting to see how people respond and obviously it's not a good thing to play those tricks on people oh no as, as long as you're aware of it oh i'm fully aware that's, oh I that's know. why that's i do it you know. <laughs> but that's why i was like all right i'm gonna just like it wasn't anything too serious so i'm like okay mm. it just started to get serious i was like all right no like mm. i am here here's evidence da, da, da. i'm not dead yeah <laughs> but like you know no one said anything anywhere, so mm -hmm. I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, cool, good to know. <laughs> and it wasn't brought up again since with anyone else, and I'm like, mm-hmm. I mean, I feel like I can kind of understand why. First off, of course it's a shitty thing that, that they didn't check in, but yeah. like, you're viewed as a pretty, you're one of the most responsible, if not the most, mm. of that entire group. Yeah. Um, so I don't know whether the fact that no one responded, like, if people had acknowledged it, okay. Mm -hmm. But I don't know whether it should be seen as a massive red flag that you said that. I don't remember your exact message. Um, or whether it should be viewed as 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 dull as it seemed to have gone yeah. over. I think I viewed it more as like a point to kind of, almost like a point of interest. Hmm. So I'm like, okay, we'll see if this kind of, this kind of actions or this behavior continues onwards. Yeah. And if it does, then obviously it needs to be brought up. Cause yeah, then I could be like, well, most. example, A, B, C, you know, yeah. it's not just like a one-time thing. Well, cause I know people have lives and whatnot. Oh, so, I get that. you know, I don't expect the drop of the hat type of situation. Well, I mean, you knew where they were. Yeah. They literally all <laughs> just got in the home. Yeah, exactly. Um, no, I know. Yeah. But that's why I was like, I know that was kind of me being shitty, but I'm like, I'm gonna just play it out and see. Yeah. But like, you know, I had told like Erin cause I was with her, but then I was like, Shit, I should have told brother, huh? And she just looked at me and went, mm, probably. And that's when you started it's messaging. It's all good. I'm like, hey, are you dead? <laughs> and we just looked at each other like, hmm, fuck. And then you called me like, oh, well. I'm up. all good. <laughs> I'm alive. Don't worry. <laughs> I am not dead yet. 
But yeah, that was just weird because it was just like, hmm. Yeah, like, we'll see how it works out. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but. Yeah, but no, just think about that. Oh, kind of going similar lines, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, when you think of your childhood, what TV shows come to mind? Is there anything that sprout pops into your head straight away? I don't know what the fuck's wrong with TikTok, but I keep getting so many videos that are like, oh, two thousands kids, <laughs> yeah. remember these fucking yeah, shows? Yeah, I'm the same thing. And I'm get like, I haven't seen like Stoked and those kinds of shit in a while, but I'm getting like. Um, uh, Dukes of Broxtonia, I got that today. Mm -hmm. Um, what else? Shit, um, Iggy and... Fi what oh, what's it called? Life yeah. is Good on Hot Dog Street. Yeah. Uh, what, what was that the intro to? Um, oh something. It was some, it was Cockroaches. Oh, yeah, were they all like... Mm. Yeah. What um, uh, what's it? Something Opera? I'll look it up. Fruit <laughs> Opera? No. No, um, there was a lot of weird shows like that. Soup one. opera. No, that's wrong. Yeah, there's just so many fucking weird shows. Like, I bet if I tried to watch like, a network like ABC3 or like Go now, yeah. I'd be like, the fuck? <laughs> like, what? Oogie and the Cockroaches? Yeah, that's not, that seems that right. Yeah. Yeah, the gang of cockroaches. That's... <laughs> <laughs> the pool. <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah. Um, yeah, like mine was like, you know, Kim Possible, Wings oh, Club, yeah. the whole, what else there? What, what, what was that thing on Go? It was, it was from Nickelodeon. It was Miley Cyrus. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what a show. Amazing, terrible show. Um, oh my God. A bit of iCarly in there. Yes, iCarly. Have you seen the reboot they've done? No, I don't want to. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> I haven't watched it, but I've seen like clips obviously because of TikTok, oh, okay. but I'm like, it's just them basically, one's divorced and has, has, <laughs> Freddie has two divorces <laughs> and he has a kid. No. Carly, she's trying to restart the channel again. So she's dragging any boy that has slight interest in her to be in the show. Oh God. Sam's not in it. Why not? She's too busy with her biker gang. Oh fucking Sam. <laughs> They just couldn't, she didn't want to do it. Sam the Hell's Angel. Yeah, oh, that'd be so, actually, I'd love to see that as a show. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty much the same apartment, just updated. And oh, then wow. you can all swear more. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, and if if you're a failure of like, you know, you finish your uni degree and now you just don't know what to do. You go back to watching iCarly and it's just them as adults. Yeah, literally. And I'm pretty I sure, think that's their demographic. I'm pretty sure they're literally talking about like, all like Black Lives Matter movements, so, like everything. Oh no! Obviously, I don't hundred percent know because I haven't seen it. But Doctor Who did that. Did they really? The female Doctor Who. They um they did uh, segregation. Um, oh, what else? They did a they did a couple of things in the first uh, like four episodes. Yeah. They touched on a bunch of crap like that. I'm surprised they did that. Uh, I mean. They got a female host for the first time. I feel like they had the ability to. Yeah. They came in fucking hard mm. with uh, Rosa Parks yeah. doing that kind of crap. And I was like, well, hey, those are all great episodes, of course. I, I mean, um, you need one. to see uh, them. Yeah, I will. But that's the thing that they've been hinting about a female doctor for ages. Oh, 100%. I don't know why people got so mad. I'm like, it's been hidden since... Like, before 2010. Why are we getting all grumpy? I don't... I mean, I went through the bit where I was like, nah, she's gonna ruin it. It's not gonna be the same. And I was completely wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, like, male ignorance or anything. It's not because she's a chick. I don't know what it is. But that's the thing, though. A lot of people like that. Oh, 100%. Because they're like, oh, it's the male's role to be the doctor. I'm like, well... No, it fucking isn't. Amy, Amy stole it for an episode. Like, what? I'm like, the doctor is also just like... And a, a persona? Like, it's a persona. Yeah. It can be anything. Yeah, no kidding. You know? Um, this is anybody quirky and good under pressure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and has a screwdriver. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And tries to not shoot people. Yeah, and tries to say something clever and it doesn't always work out very well. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And has a question mark hidden somewhere. I, I've never seen him. Apart from whoever's tire was. It's, That's the rhythm. No. I'm thinking of the wrong thing now. <laughs> Well, no, one of them. Think of Gotham. Uh, number five, he has the vest that's uh, white with red question marks. Logo. No. Huh? No. What do you mean no? No, I, I like I never saw that far back. Oh uh, well, him, I'm not that old. 
Shut up, neither am I. <laughs> I know. It came out the same year my father was like born, so like. Christ, <laughs> alright, yeah, you're right. Actually, no, he was like two, whatever, same difference. It's same difference. But like, the only reason same, I. Same, same difference. Yeah, the only reason I knew that's because I watched some of the older episodes. Okay. But the fifth doctor is the father in law of the tenth, David Tennant. Like, they're father okay. and son in law. Oh. <laughs> In real life. Oh. Didn't even realize. Raised to be the doctor. <laughs> Like, Could you imagine? It's like, oh, welcome to the family. Doctor? Doctor. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get into the family real quick. <laughs> ah, you're a Doctor Who as well, so am I. <laughs> but yeah, like, all, the first... Meets the grandchildren. I'm yeah. the Doctor. <laughs> but like, I think f- 1 through 6 is very visible, and then they start mm-hmm. to hide it, or like, slowly fade it out, but there'd be say. references for it. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. There's lots mm. of, like, random facts like that. That's why the fourth doctor always had jelly beans because he was a diabetic. Fun fact. <laughs> I appreciate you told me that. Yes, yes, I have. I appreciate that that was be- that became part of his character. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they were jelly babies though, and they made a joke about it at one point. I don't know. There's lots of random things like that. I have a scarf upstairs <laughs> as well. <laughs> oh, you do have the scarf. I do. Oh. The nerd in me just went. <laughs> <laughs> I used. I have a photo somewhere. Did you knit that scarf? Someone knitted that scarf. Yeah, my grandmother did. That's who it was. Yeah. It's funny. And I have the screwdriver from Matt Smith's. Yes. Yeah, Isn't I have... your favourite? Or is no. David Tennant? No. Neither. Tom Baker. Uh, Tom uh, Baker! Uh... Come on, man. He's good. Nah, out of, the t- out of Matt and David, though... I want to say Matt, I think, more. They're pretty fucking even, to they be honest. They are pretty even. I think the only reason I liked Matt's more because I think his death scene was more like embedded in my brain versus David's. Which Matt's... it was Matt Smith, David Tennant, and another Doctor all in one episode, and they had to work. They together. always do that. No... Oh, you're talking about um, the War Doctor? Yes. Yeah, eight point five. What? <laughs> because he's point five. Yeah, because he's not technically part of the Doctor Who like timeline uh, because he actually like killed people I'm, at one I'm point. I'm writing that shit down. I want to watch those episodes again. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I'm remembering, remembering? Queen El- <laughs> remembering Queen Elizabeth being in that fucking episode. Yeah, and then if you also look at the tenth anniversary, they mm. do. Um, I think it was like the ten year anniversary for Doctor Who. I can't remember or the tenth. I don't remember. But they have the first, second, and third Doctor in it. Oh, okay. It's all in black and white, but it's funny, because the first Doctor, you can only see his face, because no. it's not a screen. No. It's because he was in hospital. Uh, so they just covered it with oh, black fabric. Oh, you're right! <laughs> so they just oh. covered it all. He's just like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I am still here. Not dead. <laughs> I'm functioning. Yeah. No, I remember that, because wasn't that a, like a movie-long episode? The mm-hmm. Yeah. It's fucking long. Yeah, it was good, though. Mm. I remember that. What, have you seen the ninth one with the leather jacket? I don't remember his name. Oh, he wasn't in it very long. He wasn't my favorite. Yeah, I, I didn't, didn't like, like him, him much. Yeah. His face is wrong. <laughs> I know the one you mean. Yeah, he always wears a leather jacket. That's yeah. his signature. Everyone has a signature. Yeah, but why a leather jacket? I don't know. To show off the bi vibes? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy was pretty. Hmm. Well, that's the staple. You're either a leather jacket bi, you're a flannel bi, or a hoodie bi. That's why Jake Peralta is all three. <laughs> da 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 da! Oh no! <laughs> he had to be, come on. Yeah, he like, really did. 100%. 100%. If not, he was fruity, at least. Oh, he. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Speaking of. <laughs> okay. What's something in your life that you consider a miracle? I don't know why miracles my brain just goes poof. <laughs> I don't um, know. Like, what's your definition of miracle? I don't know. With that sound bite you just you just gave me, because I'm 100% going to edit it out of this video. Oh, are you editing this, are you? No, I'm going to edit that out. I'm going to download the video. Fuck you. And I'm going to make poof my like little notification sound. And I just imagine like a, a, a light blue cloud farting. That's that's what that noise is. I was thinking like a unicorn just poofing. Exploding? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. You're right. 100%. That'd be just <laughs> poof. <laughs> <laughs> I need to stop. Uh, uh, um, miracles. Fuck, I don't really know, man. I feel like um, miracle is such a hard word. It really is. To not give a very simple answer. 
Arthur Osborne wanted that sentence. Mm -hmm. y yeah? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean, there's a very simple answer to that question. That is? You. Why? Meeting you in St. John. I'm so sorry you had to do that. <laughs> yeah, cheers. <laughs> cheers, bud. Cheers, bud. Um, I'm just, like, I'm trying to think of another good example. Because I feel like... Hmm, there isn't, haven't really been any, not gonna lie. That's not sad, don't, don't laugh like that. No, I was laughing at the whole, hasn't been, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the It hasn't, happened? like, I don't know. It doesn't have to be like a big miracle, it could be just little. I don't know. Yeah. Something that makes your life, or, it... yeah, no, we'll, we'll just stick with that, I have another question after. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, you appearing in my life. Oh, no, getting told that you needed to mentor me <laughs> in leadership at St. John. That was the stupidest thing ever. B best decision those two ever made. The only decision I think they ever made together. That they agreed on, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Apart from what coffee used to get. Yeah, I think still. Only one of them made that decision. True. Yeah. Still or to bring snacks. Yeah. That was one of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you address them yet in this kind of podcasts? Not really. Not really. I think okay. I have. You're gonna need to at some point. Great. <laughs> <laughs> you do not look oh, impressed. That reminds me. I forgot. What'd you forget? I have other questions for you. Oh fuck. Because how many did you have? These were sent in <laughs> by, by who? Our lovely friends. What? Friends? Friends! You know that thing you have. <laughs> what do you mean, my friends? <laughs> no, the friends that we share. Oh, okay, good. Okay. I should probably answer the question before I go on. <laughs> um, miracle. It's a tough question. Like... I mean, I can agree with you. I think, obviously, having you in my life has made it a lot better. Yeah, Alright, like... But, um... Other than that cheesy answer, because that's gross. I mean, that's the answer I got stuck with. I can't think of a good example. I think my, like, miracle is having my, like, the friends I've... The friends you make along the way. No. <laughs> like, no. The friends that I've made who have actually stayed along and have been... What up, Kyo? Yeah, you, he, he's hugging Kyo the cushion, by the way. Fuck yeah, yeah. Good. Alyssa, if you're listening, see? Better than you, Kyo. Fuck you, you. <laughs> He's a good character, but <laughs> only character development wise. Rat looking ass. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Miracles, I think, yeah, it's like the friends that I've kept who have been by my side the longest. Yeah. So like, you know, the whole Aaron, you, Dakota. Yeah. 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 I think, because each friend that I've made has helped me kind of realize things differently. Or like, <laughs> what? what? did I, what did I help you realize? That being a flaming dumbass isn't so bad? Um, no, you've helped me realise that it's okay to kind of not know things and to have open conversations oh, and just enough. discuss things. No. Because again, out of all my friends, I don't really have lots of open conversations. So. Soz. <laughs> You're the only one I can talk to that somehow goes from humans are a plague on the earth to what's your favourite drink? <laughs> like, yeah, no shit. In like... the span of a second. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no kidding. The one time I tried to write down all my thoughts, I remember how poorly it went. Chapter one was called Suicide, Christianity, and Adolf Hitler. Oh, is this your book? Yes. Yeah. Chapter two was Gluten and Perceptions of Bad Publicity. Mm -hmm. Three was Evolution, Normality, and Its Conceptions. You should finish that book. I should. You really should. But holy fuck. Like, that was all... They all of those chapters were spaced out by years. Yeah. And they all go in completely fucking different directions. Well, that's the thing that's showing your growth development and how you change. Well, from Adolf Hitler to conceptions of bad publicity to gluten. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Fuck gluten free people. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> nah, the people that are in your face about it. It's. I think like, that's for I anything, feel... though. Yeah. Anyone who pushes anything too much can get annoying. Truth. Just life. I appreciate people who are like vegetarian and shut up about it. Mm. Especially the ones that have a good reason. 
Yeah. Like, meat will m- murder your heart or something. Like, Sorry. oh my god. What? Yeah, everyone. Um, I remember getting stuck writing an assignment for uni. Mm-hmm. And it was literally about the dietary, like, differences between those three. Yeah. Um, vegan, um, omnivorous, and vegetarian. And in my... <clears throat> Two weeks of research, I found that if you are vegan for your entire life, yeah, you will live longer than anyone has. Fair. Like, if you also, um, if your family is like history of heart conditions and shit, yeah. you can completely avoid them. Damn, that's pretty good. And like, not even like being like pescatarian, like fish and shit. You can be semi-vegan, which is apparently a thing. Not vegan, uh, semi-vegetarian, which is apparently a thing. Yeah. Um, where you avoid certain things. And if you avoid stuff specifically like red meats, heart disease, all that kind of thing, out the fucking window. Yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's an odd bit of research I got stuck doing. Hey, but, you know, would have been fun, I guess. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to go into the questions our friends asked us. Oh, no. So this first one's from our good friend Baker, who we both know. Uh. (laughs) Her question is, what's your favourite memory together? So, of us, essentially. Oh. Shit. (laughs) (laughs) This is exactly why I wanted to know these questions beforehand. Yeah, as we're going. What the hell? (laughs) You good? I, ju- I just hear the fucking... What was that? PlayStation? Is that that thing? Xbox? Oh, Xbox, yeah. Know the difference? Yeah, that was Xbox. <laughs> um, favorite memory together? Yeah. I don't know. There's been lots of just chaos. Oh, yeah. I feel like being my friend kind of <laughs> implicates that. Yeah. There's a requirement of chaos. Yeah, I think it's not a moment or like a memory, but like it's always whenever we used to kind of walk around Rundle Mall and just talk mm-hmm. for ages about literally anything. And oh then yeah. I'd always buy you sushi, hey. and you'd get you didn't even get grumpy at one point. We used to get sushi and uh, boost juice. Yeah, and I'd try and pay, and then get annoyed because you'd like slide your card. On and then you gave up. And that was great. Yeah. <laughs> so you just go back to that. <laughs> go back to giving up. No. What? Why not? Every time. One of us buys something, the other tries to pay. And I always win. Occasionally, I win. That's because I let you. Can't let your ego die that much. Now I feel betrayed. <laughs> okay. I don't like people paying stuff. My whole life is stuff. a lie. <laughs> I don't like when people pay for me. Why? Because it makes me feel bad. But if I almost I... said fucking chastity. No, um, what's it? What's that? Chivalry. Yes. Hey. Chastity. Chastity. <laughs> Chivalry has died for most people, it will survive with me. Hey. Fair enough. Plus, if I'm the one to say, hey, let's go hang out, then I feel like it's my responsibility to pay. That does not obligate you to pay. I think it is. I agree that it mostly does, but if the other person, like, fucking attacks the cash register... Then I just tickle you and then you lose. Yeah, but that's, that's cheating. It's not cheating, it's yes, called knowing it your opponent it, and no, their weaknesses. That's, again, this cheating. It's called tactical play. Okay, well, it would have been tactical <laughs> play for me to know these questions before it is. Why? Because then I can plan my answers. No. What? You, no. Because I can always tell when your oh, answers God, are methodically thought out for hours upon end, or if it's just straight off the bat. Because your voice sounds so different when you do no, it. it does. Are you kidding me? Yes, it does. My voice doesn't change. I, the last time you sent me a long ass voice memo. No. Yes. Okay, that's a bad example. The last time you sent me a long ass voice memo, it literally you sound like this. You're like, "Hello, Jada." Nah. <laughs> I'm sorry, this happened. Okay, that's shit. That shit's because I wrote it down first. That's what I'm saying. And I literally edited that message. Yes. Uh, I, I whipped out a word document, <laughs> and I st- I started with a word map. Oh my god. I, I, I narrowed my shit. I wrote a fucking why'd you, essay. Why'd you put more effort into that? And I think you've done with any of Any assignment work. that I've had in university or yeah. high school put together. Um, 50% is included, lol. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, oh god. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess the favorite moments would be crap like that. Like, 
fighting over stupid stuff yeah. like that. I think it's like the little things versus like 100%. a particular moment. 100%. Uh, okay. The next one is from our friend Melanie. <laughs> she says, how did you turn out the way you are? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she literally wrote, how did he turn out the way he is now? Um. Oh, what the f- <laughs> I don't know where I should take that as an insult or a compliment, so I'm going to take it as a compliment. Um, I was going to say take it as a backhanded compliment. Yeah, it seems like it. We love you, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, how did you turn out the way you are? Um, a mix of my parents actually telling me they're proud of me. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. What's I, that like? Out of your friendship groups, I think I'm the one that actually, like, developed in a safe environment. Oh, <laughs> like, no, nah, I love you all, but like... You have a... I have the least trauma out of your entire group of friends. You have the most... Uh, Some of them withstanding. Yeah, you have the I most... Don't. You're the... Like, mm, how do I word this? In a not sus way? I was just gonna say, you're probably the only one that still has your parents together. Oh, uh, yeah, truth. And like, that would be a easier way to put it. Oh, 100%. Um, I don't know. Uh, my parents pushed me to do shit, like, I was in scouts since I was six, which most of my friends know, um, because it's been such a massive part of my life for the last 18 years. Mm, that is true. Um, and only until recently have I actually stopped being in it, um, uh, and in that, I was forced to engage with a lot of people I didn't know at all. Um, and have to work with them on a variety of things. So my ability to talk to anyone mm. to get any amount of information. Or try and get them to do a task or help me with something. Definitely stemmed from that. Um... And I think f from that drew my, I drew my, like, what people see as charisma. You do have a very high charisma. I can agree with that. <laughs> mm. Um, nah, like. You do though. Yeah. Um, my grandmother, I'd say, would have to be the next biggest effect. Um, she is the most chill person I've ever met um I don't think very many people can say that their grandmother has yelled at them once and then apologized for yelling at them yeah like that's to the degree that she is chill gotcha and that's also after we spent two weeks together uh ending in 24 hours straight together on a plane oh when I went yeah, to yeah. the US I remember that um and she taught me to like you know have respect for everything yeah um everyone is different um there is a lot more to people than what you're seeing um so just be careful mm -hmm. um so essentially you had good people raising you. Literally, <laughs> I, that, that's it. I had good people raising me mm. and my biggest, like, my two biggest male positive influences are obviously my father. Yeah. Um, and my old scout leader, Wayne. Oh yeah, I've heard about him. Um, absolute legend. Um, had everything together, planned it to a T. And this is a guy that uh, not exactly, um, he wasn't fully literate, mm -hmm. like, and yet he still managed to plan the best camps and activities and hikes ever. Um, and I will always look up to be the guy that he is. Um, so yeah, I reckon that's just kind of how I turned out to be the way I'm just enough positive influences to make me want to be like them. Yeah. Well, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Look at you go. <laughs> <laughs> what? You not like hanging out with your sister? No, of course I do. <laughs> you look so happy saying that. Oh, 100%. <laughs>
I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll answer as well, Mel. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> but, um, I think for me, it's a bit of a mixture of things. So mine was, you know, having. I also both have my parents as well, so they they're good. <laughs> you know, they're 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 great or whatever. But um, I grew up being an only child, but I had lots of cousins. Mm. So that definitely taught me how to kind of micromanage people. Oh yeah. <laughs> Very easily. Hey, look, I don't know if it's micromanage or, or manipulate. No, I'm micromanage. Kidding, I'm kidding. In a, in a good way, in a good way. So, yes, When you micromanage. have to put a Christmas play on and you have to oh, get you have to organize 10 them? people, write a script for them, yeah. give them costumes, and hold rehearsals. I remember you telling me about this stuff. Had to hold multiple rehearsals and have Jeez. props. Micromanagement is the key word. <laughs> That's a hell of a family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I had that and then. I think as well, kind of learning different people's point of views and opinions. Because mm-hmm. the more I learned about other people's you know, views and things like that, the more I could kind of realize how much I didn't know. Okay. So there's a stupid saying like, the more you know, the more you don't know. The more you don't know, the more you know. Fair enough. Basically. It's oh, just... dude, that is horrifyingly true. Yeah. Ignorance Maybe... is bliss. Weird. <laughs> 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 but you know, if you don't know something, then you know that you don't know something because mm. you know that. It's... Um, yeah, that's not gonna contradict itself a lot, but you know things like that. And I think the fact that now that I'm kind of getting older, ew. <laughs> <laughs> what? Until you're thirty, I don't think you can say you're old. Sorry, give me nine years. You're gonna have you. You are literally gonna have a crisis at thirty because you're gonna be like, I'm so old. <laughs> literally, you have to give me nine years. That's it. It's fucking. <laughs> it's not that many for me either. Eleven. Four. <laughs> You're in double did digits. Just, did I just do my math bad? You're in double digits. You're not fucking hundred. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying you used to get to thirty. You. Oh, okay. Oh my god, you <laughs> idiot. Yeah, no, eleven years for me. I know. So I'm only 18, turning 19. Yeah, and I'm 20, turning 21. Yeah, because you're old. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I just said that. But no, I think it's just kind of, you know, when you meet all these different people and listen to people's stories, and it kind of shapes me to be who I am more and more. I'm, mm. I don't know. I think I've just always been kind of the responsible type, because I've had to be yeah. for, like, family and things like that. And then even with friends, like, you know, I have my sister and who I've looked after quote-unquote of her mm. <laughs> for a long time, and now I'm looking after quote-unquote more, yeah, everyone. So... When you view yourself as the mother figure, I feel like you can definitely say that you look <laughs> after everyone in your group. Yeah. Because you and them view you as the mother figure. Yeah. I mean, depending if they agree with that or not. <laughs> they would. They would 100% agree with that. I don't know. To such a degree that you get annoyed <laughs> that some only view you that way. Yes, that is true. That's what I mean, though. There's a difference between seeing you as, like, a mum friend and seeing you only as the mum. Oh, no, I get that. There's, there's gonna, a difference. There's a line. There's a difference. Yeah. But, yeah. Next question is from my sister, Erin. Yes. Which I guess is technically yours as well. Yeah, don't discuss the family <laughs> tree, because then I end up being... No! Pre- if we discuss family tree, I end up We're not tree, discussing the family being, tree. I, no. That means I'm dating no. your daughter. Oh, okay, well... Which makes I'll... me the creepy uncle. Well, now that you've brought up, I'll bring up Alyssa's question. Oh, no. She said, what's it like dating my daughter, aka your niece? Oh, my God, it's exactly the same. So, for context, <laughs> um, I call Alyssa my daughter. <laughs> and, of course, if Ed's my brother... Then, then I'm dating your daughter, which is yes, my niece. But to be clear, that is not actually the case. No, no. I am not in any way, by blood or law, related to Jada. Correct. We just say that we are related. Yes. Um, How's it feel dating my daughter? And she is not my actual daughter either. No. no none of this friendship group is actually related. <laughs> She's like a all. year younger than me. That'd be so bad. Yeah, it would. Oh, God. <laughs> um, not physically possible for that either. Yeah. Um... I don't know. Uh, it can be shit at sometimes, to be honest. No. Um, I feel like that's like that with all relationships. They can get pretty shitty sometimes. Oh, 100%. I mean, it's an issue I've, I've tried to negotiate with myself. It's like, if I have a, an issue with either of you, I know I can't discuss it with either of you. Yeah. Because you two are close, mm-hmm. which means that the issue will come up 
there, most likely. Yeah. Um, and that's fine. I mean, I've had long enough to, you know, figure out how the fuck to deal with that situation. Yeah, figure it all out. Um, but aside from that, it's all rainbows and smiles. Like, <laughs> I think it was definitely, from my point of view, probably a little bit weird to start with. Oh, 100%. Because I was like, what the fuck? I just told you to not date anyone two seconds later. Hey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> date in the yeah, water. Uh, you and Alyssa agreed that I needed time to not date people. Literally. And you and I agreed that I needed to not date people. Mm-hmm. And then both of us would be like, we're dating. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and this is exactly the reaction we got. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm fine with it now, but I remember at the beginning, and I've discussed this not with Alyssa. Happy. I was not happy for the sole factor of, like, I said this to her already, but I said to her, like, you know, because first she was spending a lot of time with Aaron. Yeah. And then essentially jumped ship and then kind of was like, you know, was hanging out with you Maybe more. she just likes people starting with E. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> But um, like I said to her, I'm like, I feel like you're stealing my family, essentially. Because you were spending so much time with Aaron. That also encompasses other parts of your family, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, are you expecting me to continue? Yeah. Like... <laughs> no, but like, you know, and I said to her, because, you know, she did that, and then was hanging out with you, and then didn't hear anything until, but like, hey, we're going on a date. And I'm like, cool. Hey, we're dating. Okay. And I'm like, yeah. hmm. Don't, like, it was, I know, like, it was mainly me just being like, I don't know what to do. So I said to her, I'm like, look, this is how I'm feeling. Obviously, it's not practical, but I just want to let you know. Don't change anything. It's more of a, it's going to take me a second to kind of get used to. I mean, I get that. Uh, it's good that you kind of stuck with sometimes it's best to not do anything. Yeah. Um, there are only a few situations where that is a very poor idea. Mm-hmm. Um... But yeah, it's worked out well in the end. Yeah, no kidding. And from outside point of view, everyone says that you guys are cute together and it's gross. But That's <laughs> always what I get. It's gross. <laughs> there are certain details. Do, have you, I, what? What? <laughs> what? What details are those, Jenna? I can enlighten you. No. <laughs> not only public podcast, you will not. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wait, what? Uh, outside of the podcast? No, you know? not that either. <laughs> There's a fucking hair in my mouth. I've been trying to get out for like 10 minutes. I don't want to hear any details. I'm, I'm not. Oh, we can't, we, I'm chilling. Oh, don't God. worry. Okay. The hair's still there. I don't care. Anyway, Aaron's asked us two questions. Yes. So the first one is, because I knew this one's funny though. Um, if you had to pick out matching outfits for the two of us, what would it be? <laughs> she calls Hansel it- and Gretel. Okay. <laughs> 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 she was saying like the sibling outfits. Yeah, yeah, fucking weird twins, Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> I was thinking more like button-up t-shirts and like just dark jeans. Oh, <laughs> not actual Halloween costumes. <laughs> oh, um, because I know you. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm probably like a Hawaiian or floral button-up. You would not wear that. Are you kidding me? Would you? Have multiple button-ups. What? No, like Hawaiian print shit. Yeah, I have one. What the fuck? I've, I've stopped wearing a lot of those. Maybe it's because it's not summer and it's cold now. Yeah. That so seems you, like a good reason. You do the like flannel layers even though you're not wearing flannel right now. But you tend to do layers. Yeah, 100%. Makes people I mean, like, think you look chubby. Literally, one, two. <laughs> you have like nothing on you. What are you complaining about? That's why you need the layers. Nah, you're not wrong. But like one, two, three. Yeah, I really do like my layers. Yeah. But that's the best part about winter. Both male and female outfits look better when we're able to layer shit and not overheat and look like sweaty walruses. <laughs> True. It's like the worst part about summer is you have to be very particular about, about what you wear. Yeah. You gotta fucking pay attention to the weather here. Mm, Cause it like, change on you. No shit. Like Christmas, you want to dress up nice? No. 40 <laughs> degrees. Okay. I get annoyed with Christmas. Everyone gets annoyed with Christmas here. Yes, but also because like I have it with my extended family as well. And they're the type of people where like they always tell me off when I dress kind of nice. My kind of nice is jeans and like a nice top. I get that. That is my extension. That's my kind of nice. That is my nice. And I do that and they're like, why are you dressing up? I'm like, it's Christmas. Dr- it, come yeah. on, man. I'm not uh, wearing a dress. That's too much effort. But like, come on. <laughs> what? No, nah, you, you pull a rosa. 
<laughs> nice leather jacket. Yes. Yeah, no but it's blood summer. On it. It's bloody like 40 degrees yeah, when that happens. Yeah, truth, truth. If I do that, it's just going to be like... <laughs> it's just wet. Ew. And then sticks to you. Yeah. No, thank you. No. 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 Okay. Oh. <laughs> Second question. <laughs> the other one she said, which we've kind of answered in a way, but um, in particular, she's asking for you. Mm. Which is, what is his favorite thing about having a sibling relationship with me? What's your What's your favorite thing? <laughs> in other words, why do you still want this to keep going? The fact I can... <laughs> no, no, that is no. That's not part of the same question. I'm joking. With okay. That. Um, the fact I can discuss dumb shit with you about practically <sighs> anything it makes me so sad that that is a conversation. Yeah. I mean, look, like I've discussed basically everything. You have, yes. Any topic you can name, we've probably talked about it at least once. Um, and it's not something you can do with. A partner or yeah. just a normal friend um, and I, I, I appreciate one of the points that you've made time and time again is that you're keeping me around because I know too much I can't really say that because it's no, funny I know it is funny but it's accurate like not not in the way that you're just keeping me around for that that makes but it sound it is, so bad it's not it is accurate. We've discussed it. Uh, it applies to yeah. the same situation. We've discussed a bunch of random shit that we wouldn't necessarily talk to other people about. True. We have talked about a lot of weird things. Not yet. Yeah. And versions. Oh yeah. Of ourselves. Oh, hundred <laughs> percent. Fucking weird kids. A hundred percent. Yep. <laughs> for this, it's weird though because we've only known her for like seven years. Mm-hmm. So it hasn't even been no. that long in the scheme of things. I've known other people considerably longer and discussed considerably less. Yeah. I don't know. It's just weird. I guess the only good thing St. John has done is brought us together. I mean, hey, the first aid trainings, when you actually learn the accreditation. Oh, the accreditation days. The accreditation days. Yeah. They're good. When yeah. you actually learn shit. But like... Division wise, without going oh, to no, that's deep. just drinking copious amounts of coffee and coping with your week. <laughs> yeah, I that's think about it, it. I think it also depends on what division you're oh, in, and stuff like that. Because like some divisions are made out to almost be babysitting. Yeah, and that that's also kind of a parents' issue though. Oh, because yeah. if the parent doesn't give a shit about what the kid's there for, it becomes babysitting. Oh, 100%. And I've even noticed that a little bit in your division now. Mm. Um, it's not as bad as yeah, the no. one that I was used to though, where. Like, there were literal conversations with parents saying, It's not babysitting! Stop it! Yeah. Nah, like, most of them, who, like, actually all of them want to come to it now, they're like, yeah, we actually want to come, and I'm like, that's good. Whereas, that is like, very good. It is good, considering, like, our old division that we went to. We deal, we deal with kids not wanting to be engaged in any way. Yeah. And the parents didn't give a shit. And we didn't want to engage them because they were a pain in the ass. Yeah, but not even that. Just like even the leadership dynamic changes so much depending oh, on who's running it. 100%. You know, it can either be a place that you feel like you have to be there constantly. Like, because with my old, like our old division, mm. I felt like as soon as I wasn't there, mm. everything would fall apart. Fair enough. And it was just like, I would go in when I was, this was obviously pre-COVID times, yes. but I would go in when I was like really sick. Yeah. Because I'm like, that's it. I missed like, I think one training day yeah and went shit because i was in a different country oh, yeah. and even then i was still like what's going on what's happening time <laughs> like what's going on or like stuff like that i i remember i'd always get there early and leave late and then i was just like this division i'm like cool i'm not coming this week oh that's fine yeah no kidding have fun or like i messaged the leader and i'm like i'm sorry i can't come you need they're like you know what don't stress just remember to have some water and have some food and you'll be fine and i'm like did, i love you did, <laughs> did joe actually work out who's coming on the 25th or are we running it um you know i just said i'm not going what <laughs> what we could have run a night jada no could have seen how horribly that would have gone. I'm seeing, you know, Emma, my friend, right oh, okay. She has a play on. Oh. So unless you want to come too, I, like, I doubt it. What's the play about? I fucking don't know. <laughs> All I saw What's is... It called? I don't... I can't actually get... It's like... <laughs> I just, hope Emma doesn't listen to the podcast. <laughs> the description literally says Australian doof. <laughs> uh, 
Australian doof or yeah, doof? Doof. D O O F. Um, fuck, there's no difference between them. Yeah. Um, um anyway, so yeah, that's why I, I was gonna tell you about that anyway, but, but I'm gonna... right. Yeah. But <laughs> anyway, Saint John is a weird place. Saint I think, John's a weird place. I think we it? should do like solely an episode on it. I'd uh, be I mean, I reckon you could Oh, 100% mm, could. You could pack in an episode. Easily, are you kidding yeah. me? Bring Baker on all. Oh, no, I mean, you could probably pack St. John into one episode. Yeah. Yeah, definitely could. I know, that place is <laughs> interesting. It's a weird place for weird people, and there's not very many people in it that are still sane. Yes, that is true. That's and true. if you've been there long enough, you go insane. Yes. I don't know. Like, you know, it's it's good for learning about first aid, but that's bad. Oh, it. cool. But yeah, they're all my questions. <laughs> Are you all good? I see. You see what I mean by... Yes, no, if you'd added bush doof, like the oh, word Oh, that would have helped? Yes! Really? Because bush doof is a thing. <laughs> bush doof is a thing. I didn't know what either of those things mean. Alright, um, think of Burning Man. Uh-huh. Like, just hard, hard style music. Yeah. And drugs. Mm hmm That's a bush doof. How does that turn it's to a plane? It's the middle of fucking nowhere. Well, I I didn't read the full thing. That's all there was. There was a description. I showed you the Something description. Something about Arcana. That's the name of it. A bush doof. That's it. That's all there is. Alright, well then I read it and I don't <laughs> follow. Same. I don't know. But that's all my questions. Do you have anything you want to ask me? <laughs> Fuck, not really. You've addressed most of my brain. Thing. Yes. That's fair. Thank you for doing the podcast. Oh, with me. you're very welcome. It's <laughs> been an interesting ride. I'm sure I'll be here again. Oh, he definitely will be because on the next one we'll talk about, which I'll get proper questions for. We're gonna talk. You mean proper questions? <laughs> what have these been? I just mean like questions and stuff like that. All right. I'll get questions for it, but basically we're gonna be talking about like exes and ex relationships and whatnots. <laughs> So, oh, fun! It should be <laughs> a nice traumatic revisit. Oh yeah, <laughs> this should be interesting. Mm -hmm. So, no, say, we can definitely fill an episode with that crap. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Because there's a lot that we could both say. I mean, I'm kind of lucky. At least I learned shit from mine. I mean, no, I learned something from mine. Okay, true. I learned actually a lot but from mine. But it Mo. also took you like. Shut up. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We'll, we'll save we'll that, leave for, that the next for another episode. episode. Yep. Yes. Thank you all so much for listening, and we shall see you slash hear from you in the next episode. Bye! <laughs>